All right, we are here on the day after Halloween, which is awesome. I know some people are dragging more than normal. All right, don't forget, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. We are studying the vertex form of a quadratic. Okay, so vertex form. It looks like this. All right. Our axis of symmetry, our AOS, is x equals h. This is, this is the easiest one. We don't have to do any type of calculations, counting, or anything like that. Hooray. All right. Remember, h is the opposite value of what's written, and our vertex, that's supposed to be a different color, is hk. Now, so our vertex goes here, and we still have our awesome, um, you know, our 1a ratios here, and our... 3a ratios here and I thought it was very interesting somebody said thought they had one of the problems wrong on the practice yesterday and they said I, I, I think it's wrong I said well think about it they're like no I think it's wrong I said think about what you're doing and they didn't want to think about it they just wanted to know if they got it right or wrong and that's and they didn't under, okay and still, you know, hopefully, this is what's sad. We have, how, how much have I driven home that, you know, when A is positive, that it looks like this, and then when uh, A is neck, oh my gosh, it's one of those days. And when A is negative, it looks like this, and, you know, when it's positive, the minimum is the vertex, and max is infinity, and this. Somebody's going to miss this. Somebody's going to miss this. I've said this just about every day this week. You're going to have three different practice tests. You're going to have an orange sheet. Somebody's going to miss it. I know. I just know. You know why? Because I've made it too easy. Made it that easy. All right. So. Uh, and on Monday, when you have your first practice test review sheet, you'll see how stuff I want, you know, I like to do that, show you how much points and stuff are, um, and things of that nature. All right. So you'll have something set up kind of like this. Um, so let's just begin. Here is our problem. All right. Our A, H, and K. So what is the number between the equal sign and that parenthesis? It's a 1. I'm going to help y'all because y'all don't look like y'all are very much ready to uh, participate and engage today. So I'm going to do this. Is that all right? All right. So remember, it's the opposite of this. So this is going to be a negative 5. And again, some of the things I like to do, you know, I like to kind of go ahead and kind of put it all in where I need to put it in. Just kind of get things done. Kind of like those people that like to make lists and mark things off. And the first thing you do is at the top of the list, make a list so you can mark that off. Yeah. And then K is 5. All right, and we know since our A is positive, our max is infinity, and our min is our vertex. So we already have all this stuff already filled out. Bing, bang, boom, boom. Okay. So we're good to go here. So I'm going to scroll over just a little bit so nobody freaks out. Oh, I can't see it. Negative 4, negative 3 negative 6 and negative 7. All right. 
So, remember, this is 1A. So, 1A. Our A is 1, so 1 times 1 is 1. All right, so what is 5 plus 1? 6. Yes. And then this is 3A. Well, 3A, that's 3 times 1, which is 3. All right, so what is 6 plus 3? Well, that would be 9. See, I told you all these go, these are the easy ones. Y'all want them harder? No. It goes kind of quick, right? Don't y'all are like, wow? Can we have like a whole lot of these on the test, right? Yeah. You'll probably end up having like two of these on the test. You'll have two of what we had yesterday on the test. Uh, so, you, you know, you might end up. Let's see. Two, probably end up. You'll have eight problems, but they'll have multiple parts. Um. But, you know. Why this one looks different than this other one, I don't know why the kind of the formatting got off, but you know, it did. So, our A is 2, our H would be negative 7, Our K is negative 3. All right. And our A is positive, so that means our max is infinity and our min is our vertex. Ha cha cha. Wrong color. All right, so this is 1a, so 1 times 2 is 2. All right, so negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Okay, so 3a is 3 times 2, which is 6. So, negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Were they handing out these little like, squishy stress ball things at something yesterday for this Red Ribbon Week? They were? Okay, I, the reason why I have one is somebody in third block had one and like somebody would do, somebody threw it up and let it stick to the ceiling. Exactly, it is disgusting. So, I... I Quit looking up at the ceiling. There's not another one up there. I, that's why it's in my hand, Helen Keller's. Uh, 
So I got it down and I told them I would keep it for them. And um, then I tried to give it back to them and they didn't listen. They just ran out of this, the room at the end of the class. So now I have it. <laughs> All right. A is negative 1. H is negative 4. Our K is positive 10. And I forgot to fill in all the H's. And all right, so our A is negative. All right, so remember it's a frowny face. So our max would actually be our vertex this time. And our min would be negative infinity. Negative three, negative wrong colors. Three, negative two, negative five, negative six, one a. All right, so one a. This is one times negative one, which is negative one. All right, so ten plus negative one. The same thing as ten minus one. So if I have ten fingers and accidentally cut one off, I now have nine. This would be 3a, so 3a, that's 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. Okay, so 9 plus negative 3, that would be 6. Wow! All right, so that was number three. All right, so I think in the past, this is how it has been. The AOS, the Vertex, stuff like that. Uh, that used to have something else, but I took that off. So that's why we're actually having to record today. This is a positive one. This is x equals one, one, one. This is two, this is two, this is two. Zero, negative one, this is two, this is three. All right, our A is positive, so our max, D is the max, so this is infinity. Our min is 1, 2. <clears throat> 1A. So 1A is 1 times 3, which is 3. So what is 2 plus 3? Right, it's 5. And then 3a, that's 3 times 3, which is 9. So then we have 5 plus 9, which is 14.
don't know if I like the um, like these directions better than I think I like the other directions better. Because the reason why some people don't read the actual directions, and then I'll have to end up just taking off a whole lot of points. Oh no! Not a fraction! So A is positive again, so max is infinity, and this is the vertex. All right. So we're adding a fraction. Hmm. So 1A, that's 1 times a half, which is a half. So you could actually write this as a decimal or a fraction. I'm going to take either. I'll try, I actually meant to go back and change that, but we have calculators, it shouldn't matter. Okay, let's see, 0. 0.5 plus 4, hmm. Three A, this is three times zero point five. Was that one point five? Three times point five. It is, it is one point five. All right. So this is three A. So we're adding one point five to that, so plus four point five. So this ends up being six. So that one actually wasn't that bad even though it was a fraction. And five out of four people have problems with fractions. Do you get the joke? Some people don't. Believe it or not, there's actually, in, in math, there's actually a lot of emphasis put on quadratics. These happen a lot. I know, it seems weird. People make a lot of really good money not too far from here dealing with stuff with quadratics and stuff like that because it's a lot of missile defense. Okay, you think about it, uh, quadratics, you launch a missile. Okay, or you want to... You know a missile's trajectory. You want to stop the missile. Okay. So. Then you just have weird people like me that teach this stuff. <laughs> eh. Seven X equals seven. Oh, I didn't change this one, did I? This has too many stuff. This has an extra C, doesn't it? Oh, well. Watch this. I'll fix it.
six, five, eight, nine. All right, this is negative, so our max is our vertex. Our min is negative infinity. So for 1a, this is negative 2. All right, so 1 plus negative 2 would be negative 1. Three times negative two is negative six. So negative one plus neg bless you plus negative six is negative seven, and we're done. Hooray! Kind of easy lesson on a dreary Monday or Monday ugh, Friday, the day after Halloween. The, mon the morning after Halloween, where everybody wants to. <clears throat> All right. Well, the in-class audience is going to actually have a, uh, a nice little practice thing to do. For all y'all leaving, don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Good stuff, good things. Roll Tide.